नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम एवेल्युएट इंटेग्रल एक्स रूट ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स आई इक्वल्स टू इंटेग्रल एक्स रूट ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स नाउ कंसिडर एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए इंटू डिरीवेटिव ऑफ डी बाई डी एक्स वन प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी वेर ए कामा बी आर द कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर टू बी एवेल्युएटेड नाउ ए टाइम्स दिस इज वन माइनस टू एक्स प्लस बी इक्वल्स टू एक्स दिस बिकम्स माइनस टू ए एक्स प्लस ए प्लस बी इक्वल्स टू एक्स equating coefficients equating coefficients so x coefficient is 1 here that means minus 2a equals to 1 and a plus b is equal to there is no constant 0 so a becomes minus 1 by 2 and whereas minus 1 by 2 plus b is equal to 0 b becomes 1 by 2 now this integral can be rewritten as i is equal to minus 1 by 2 into derivative of this one 1 minus 2x Plus one by two times root over one plus x minus x square dx. What will be the next step? The next step we have to split the problem into two integrals. So this can be written minus one by two times one minus two x and root over 1 plus x minus x square dx and plus 1 by 2 integral root of 1 plus x minus x square dx. So this has to be done separately. That's why we have to assume this one as subintegral. Say i1. This is in the form of integral root f of x this will be f dash x dx this is the formula we have already discussed in the previous exercises this is 2 f of x root f of x by 3 so now let us do the rest of the problem so now this is minus 1 by 2 into 2 times 1 plus x minus x square and root of 1 plus x minus x square by 3 plus 1 by 2 i1 this 2 2 gets cancelled and minus of 1 plus x minus x square root of 1 plus x minus x square by 3 plus 1 by 2 i1 say equation 1 now i1 we have to find out separately let us find out i1 i1 means integral root of 1 plus x minus x square dx now 
1 plus x minus x square can be written minus common x square minus x minus 1. Okay. Now, this minus of this can be written x square minus x 1 by 2 whole square and minus 1 minus 1 by 4. This is minus of x minus 1 by 2 whole square minus 5 by 4. So, this can be written root 5 by 2 whole square minus x minus 1 by 2 whole square. Let us substitute. Now, I 1 becomes integral root of root 5 by 2 whole square minus x minus half whole square dx. How does it appear? This is one of the standard integrals that is integral root of a square minus x square dx. So, integral root of a square minus x square dx x root of a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. This is the formula. So, now Okay. Next, this I 1 can be written x stands for x minus 1 by 2 root of root 5 by 2 whole square and minus x minus of whole square by 2 plus a square means 5 by 4 by 2 sin inverse x minus 1 by 2 by root 5 by 2. Let it be simplified. So, this is 2 x minus 1 into this becomes directly 1 plus x minus x square this by 2. So, by 2 into 2 4 this becomes plus 5 by 8 sin inverse 2 x minus 1 by root 5. Now, this has to be replaced here to get a required integral i. Hence, i equals to this already minus of 1 plus x minus x square root of 1 plus x minus x square by 3 plus 1 by 2 times 2 x minus 1 root of 1 plus x minus x square by 4 plus 5 by 8 sin inverse or plus sin inverse 5 by 8 2 x minus 1 by root 5. So, let it be simplified. So, now, so x square minus x minus 1 root of 1 plus x minus x square by 3 plus 2 x minus 1 root of 1 plus x minus x square by 8 and next this multiplied by this 5 by 16 sin inverse 2 x minus 1 by root 5 plus constant of integration. 